Hi friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we would be understanding quality management and in that measurement system analysis. These are all the various topics that we would be covering. One is the need for MSA and MSA planning, how we are going to execute then over a period of time. With respect to the purpose, wherever when we are measuring, we need to have an effective measuring system. Because if we do not measure it properly, that means to say there is very high chances that we may overcorrect certain things which are already doing well. So measurement system analysis planning is also very much important. And in advanced product quality planning also there should be a certain area for MSA. For which critical parameters that we need to measure, we need to be clear. And then for all the things where statistical process control will be applied, even measurement system analysis also to be applied in a much before condition. So confidence on certain product and process parameters we are going to get only when we are having a right MSA system for that particular thing. From the execution point of view, there are various parameters from a measuring system which we need to understand. First one would be the least count. That means to say the smallest improvement or decrement that we can able to visualize on the scale on a measurement system is called as a list count. It is also called as a resolution. Then we talk about the accuracy front. Accuracy means to say how correct this particular value for the real value is. Precision means to say how consistent that we are hitting the same value when we are repeating this particular measurement. So all these plays a very important role when we are talking about one measurement system. Let us talk about some of the advanced features of measurement systems. We need to have a right repeatability. Repeatability means to say in the same part when we are doing a measurement with the same operator then we need to consistently hit the same values. So if we hit the same value then we call this particular measurement system as highly repeatable. The one more parameter is called as a reproducibility that means to say the same part will be measured with the same measuring system but with a different operators. So when this operator checks if it is coming as 30 mm, the other operators when he checks it has to again reproduce the value of 30 mm. So when both the values are repeated or reproduced then we call it as a reproducibility in measurement system analysis. Overall put together we call it a particular parameter called as GRR that is nothing but gauge repeatability and reproducibility. There are various possibilities that you can have if it is lesser than 10 percentage that means to say this particular measurement system is fine. If it is greater than 30 percentage in the GRR value that means to say this measurement system is not compatible for our application. If the value is between 10 to 30, that means to say it is conditionally accepted based on the risk management and we need to take decision case by case basis. This is not a universal case or universal decision. From the execution point of view, we need to also understand the fourth and the fifth step of measurement system analysis called as linearity and also stability. Linearity means to say in the entire range are we having error in the similar proportion. With an example I can explain to you if you are having a vernier calipers and if the error at 5 mm is something like 0.5 mm that means to say when you increase that by 10 mm you should have a linearity error of less than 1 mm. That means to say in proportionate to the error that you already encountered at a much lower range. Stability means to say at varying environmental conditions like temperature or change in the humidity and other things you should be able to get consistently the same measured data from the measurement system. So if you are getting that means to say your measurement system is highly stable. Then we also talk about some important parameter in measurement system analysis called as attribute study. Attribute study means it is going to be told for those kind of parameters 
where a actual variable measurement data is not available or something like you know 20 25 or something like that this kind of value will not come so only s no kind of a possibilities are there like i take this particular product yeah it is okay so yes if it's not okay it is no so when we are talking something like that then we are talking about a holistic thing and just like a decision yes no kind of thing so for that also how consistently a operator is taking a decision whenever he is going to check he is called as attribute study and in MSA this is also one of the important areas where we need to have that. To conclude we understood the importance of MSA and where all it makes a lot of sense for our various measurement and monitoring applications of our entire system. That's all in this video. Thanks so much.